everybody and welcome to an episode of Genesis Alpha 1, this brand new game that we're hopping into that is this revolutionary mix of roguelike shooter, base building and survival all packed in one as we are in this role of an interstellar pioneer as we like build up our ship, explore all these worlds and ultimately we are trying to find a new home for humanity's DNA and save the species from extinction by initiating Genesis on one of the planets that we could find that are suitable so we're journeying into uncharted space on this ultimate mission where we are building and managing a space vessel its crew farming resources dealing with terrifying alien infestations cloning creatures exploring a vast randomly generated universe all within genesis alpha one so if you guys want to go ahead and get your hands on genesis yourselves link will be at the very tippity top of the description and when you guys do buy it make sure to actually use the support a creator code star snipe by using the link it should automatically be entered but that is actually a way that you guys could support me and even within other games that you guys play that belong to epic like maybe fortnite you guys could also use that star snipe support a creator code in order to support me but hopefully you guys do enjoy the game thank you a huge ton to epic games and genesis alpha one for sponsoring this video and supporting the channel let's dive in without further ado hope you guys enjoy the video have a fan for a fantastic day and all right guys and gals let's kick things off by first constructing our ship before we start the survival portion because this is the awesome part of it we literally get to branch out and build our ship as we see fit and then we will have to go ahead and visit some planets get the resources that we need to continue our survival shenanigans we're gonna kick things off with a greenhouse this is what is needed over here to actually be able to provide us life a greenhouse is necessary and we to keep this thing intact because if we don't like when enemies might come on board things will go south very quickly now when it comes over here to the farming this tractor beam is also going to be relatively necessary so it might not be the best idea to have that right next to the greenhouse but yolo because the tractor beam is going to come in handy with uh, actually being able to beam up resources from the galaxies that we are visiting and then putting those resources to use throughout the ship we are also going to be needing some storage but before before we kick into the storage i do actually want to build a couple of corridors here and actually kind of like you know have, have some custom stuff popping off over here because we can actually branch off from each of these corridors and we should be able to uh whatchamacallit build storage from there but dude just check out how awesome this is like we literally can build our ship in our own way and we're gonna be able to that's our little person right there so we will be able to walk throughout the ship and all that type of jazz but for now let's go ahead and get a little bit of storage popping off so we hopefully have some good news there and i might Actually get a little bit more storage so we're really rearing and ready to go we'll just start popping off tons of storage this will be the storage corridor as we call it and then why don't we go ahead and get the crew quarter which is going to be available here and this is going to i'm assuming keep our people alive and happy so that's good so we're gonna go and we'll toss it on over there have the crew quarters kind of near the top and all of our basic shipbuilding objectives are completed so we should be able to exit and uh we can rename our ship if we want we do have no remaining resources crew without cabins so we're looking good uh let's go ahead and begin today's adventures in genesis alpha one there is our marvelous little ship look at it in all of its glory in the middle of this giant um well i don't know just space yeah we could go ahead let's just skip the intro though because i want to get straight into the action and our name is chase we are human and we are the captain as you look at me i am the captain now and here we are within the bridge where a lot of things will run we could even go ahead and use this terminal to jump throughout hyperspace pick new areas for us to go to because ultimately the area that we are currently in will eventually run out of resources and we do need to continue moving forwards and if we are lucky we can actually trade with a merchant at times which might be kind of freaking cool but uh, over here we can actually use biomass which is one of the resources to heal should we ever be damaged and there's another thing over here which is actually our weapon rack where we could i'm actually gonna be taking one of those turrets so we could go and put these bad boys down and reinforce the tractor beam because enemies can come on board through the tractor beam there you guys can see our weapons and uh okie dokie enough of that here is the greenhouse and it's giving us a survival guide around the biosphere but i already pretty much know how that works because all that we gotta do is head on over to the terminal and here we will be able to once we go ahead and 
assign some crew, but we actually don't need to assign them right now because we don't have any plant saplings on the ship. But what we can do then is actually access all of our crew members and dismiss them. So we need to actually manage our crew members and make sure that they are constantly doing something and being productive. And for now, we already have our three plants here. All that we could do is destroy them. I'm not trying to destroy our only source of oxygen. So that's going to be a no for me, fam. But we don't need to assign anyone to that yet. The tractor beam, however, this is gonna need some stuff, and she's gonna give me a little video. I already know how that works, though, and I'm gonna explain it to you guys, because here, what we can do is actually scan a couple of the things within our sector. For example, we have this debris over here that might have different resources within it, but also what we could do is check it out. Six iron. If we go ahead and click on that, there's six iron. We are now beaming that debris on board. I'm also going to make sure to go ahead and actually, uh, we're going to toss on a turret down here. So if anyone decides to, uh, hop on board, they're not going to be in for a very fun time. But this is where we want to actually assign our crew to man this tractor beam, which should make things quick. So we'll go ahead and double assign those dudes and while that is beaming up let's go ahead and scan the rest of what this sector has and what you guys saw the map earlier Ooh, so that has some lithium there's also some planets that we are going to be able to visit should we choose and that's where we can usually acquire things closer to biomass you guys can see two sites were detected in addition to some iron ore and some lithium ore you guys can see that over on the right where it says planet resources resources unknown you guys can see that little progress bar filling up with beaming debris on board and we are going to make sure that hopefully no uh, biomass because biomass tends to mean aliens and if aliens come on board we need to deal with those and I think our turrets are ready. These turrets are looking all over the place man. We can even go over here hold E to speed up the process and the debris is hither and with that the first one is done being collected and i believe yep they're just going to continue beaming on the rest from this sector that we have went ahead and uh clicked upon so there's five more iron then we'll most likely go over to here and start beaming from there i'm not sure if we can beam from a planet but i do know oh look at all those resource locations all the site locations a hyperdrive oh baby and we can just go ahead and hide those. But uh, what we can then do is actually build a new type of module. And this module is going to be important. Oh, there's a life form. There's a life form on board. So I believe it's about to hop on here. Also, the music here is super groovy and super retro. But uh, these guys. Oh, Jesus. You shot me, dude. Like, good job killing him. But, bruh, you shot me. And I'm trying to see if I can collect their biomass, but no, it looks like we're not able to collect them right now. But yeah, that's what I'm talking about. They can come on board. Oh, hello. Uh, goodbye to you. I might actually bring one of these turrets over to the lower deck so they're able to take things a little bit uh, lower. Yeah, there we go. We'll go ahead and toss that bad boy there. So that one can shoot on this lower deck if any life forms come on through that. We got one turret manning at the top of deck and hopefully our tractor beam is nice and protected now but we're just gonna continue trying to get that stuff and ultimately what we'll be able to do is build the ability okay for now it's actually just get this workshop so we can construct weapons and whatnot that's gonna be pretty important as well we'll go ahead and put that off at the end of that hallway over there in terms of life systems we already have well we don't have our reactor because we do need to get as you guys can see copper in order to construct that here you guys can see the crew our farming and the hangar that's what i was thinking of so the hangar is going to be essential that is how we could go and you guys can see it's in the farming section so all of this stuff helps us farm for resources and the hangar which we have just built and looky looky here that bad boy that's the bridge up there you guys can literally see our space station coming to fruition though man it's just so freaking cool like i don't know and not just hello good job beaming that stuff up but it's just so freaking cool being able to do that i get it i know exactly how that works no worries i will explain but I don't know, man. This is our ship that we can actually go ahead and man, and we're going to do exactly that. Uh, we could go ahead and go on board. I want to harvest Rar Seas and see what that shindig's about. So uh, let's assign two crew members, and let's go ahead 
and launch the harvester so those crew members are going to be coming on board i'm going to come on board with them we're going to go visit that planet and do some harvesting and while they go ahead you guys can even see their little dots that are moving on over here make their way through i'm going to see if we can't maybe get a clone lab built up this is going to be very very good for us because the clone lab will allow us the privilege to if we have enough biomass which we can usually get from planets the privilege of cloning more people and having a larger crew so all of this stuff it just plays into each other but right now we're going on the planet baby goodbye avita sane my ship no worries we'll be back hopefully with some good stuff but there's all these different modules that we can that we can continue building and manning with our crew members that just all provide their own awesome little thing and we have landed on a hostile planet we can return it to the mothership by clicking on that terminal there our ship is manned with turrets, so it will help protect us, and there are resources like these that we can go ahead and collect. But here's the thing, whenever we get attacked, that's actually going to be a good thing, because we can harvest them and get their own resources from the life forms that attack us. That will give us biomass. And you guys can see that, oh mama, they are coming, they are coming. And let's go ahead and collect them. Oh, that guy's not being collectible. Never mind, I thought he'd be collectible. I derped. Maybe they only drop that sometimes. Cause I remember before I hopped on one of these planets. I just made another save game to figure out the game and stuff, and that's how it was working. Oh, they detected life forms. Where at? Where at? Where are these life forms? Oh, I see you. Goodbye. And goodbye. And goodbye. And here we go. Oh, build a biotank module on your ship in order to store the collected biomass. Otherwise, it will be lost upon returning from the expedition. So, ow, we're being hurt. We're being hurt. We're being hurt. We can actually use biomass to heal as well, but that is why the biotank, another module that we haven't actually done anything yet with, is going to also be very important. That is going to be necessary, and here you guys can see all the cargo. We should still have more cargo that we could be able to bring on board. And also the people, the crew members that we assign, also help us harvest throughout this and serve as, well, people with guns to protect us against whoever may or may not attack. Now, we cannot venture out too far because there is like a little sphere that keeps us safe. And that is right there at this edge. But we could fully explore this little area. Hopefully not get lost and collect all the resources that it has. And oh, there's another life form being detected. And we do only have so much ammo. I think our pistol comes with unlimited ammo to my knowledge. So that's the good news. Oh, there are the life forms. Where are you, big boy? Uh, they're targeting. I think they may have taken all of them out. So good news there. Let's go ahead and collect this iron ore. But yeah, upon returning back, I think the first thing we want to do is craft up that bio tank in order for us to be able to store this biomass and biomass is going to be very important in order for us to clone people and probably other things too but i know the main thing that's important for it is using it to clone and to heal ourselves because we could use biomass for that as well and you guys can see our harvester in the upper left hand corner is fully loaded all of these storage modules are filled into the brim they're only available on one side but we're bringing home all of this jazz so back we go but we should be able to actually come back to this planet and harvest more because there should be more here than what we got as well but for now we're coming home with what we got and uh definitely upon coming home we're gonna get that biomass thing crafted up because i want to be able to start storing this stuff and to start having some fun with it and expanding our crew but it's just so awesome being able to like base build a freaking ship watch it expand look at like oh the harvester cannot be unloaded until the required deposit space is available so we do need to create the some deposit space and what better way than hopefully with that uh, oh there's a life form never mind good thing we got these turrets oh yeah they'd absolutely destroyed that thing unfortunately i don't think they have biomass if they attack our base but we're looking safe again so good news there let's try and get that bio tank popping off which is going to be available here so we're going to want to drop this bad boy off eh, we can go ahead and put the bio tank there i think that's a pretty nice place and then do we create the clone lab? Yeah, we already created the clone lab. Uh, yeah, we need a lot more iron. And ooh, you know what else we need? We need the refinery too, which we do need some iron in order to do first. Now, I don't think we've refined our iron, unfortunately. So I may have gotten myself into a pickle. Because we do need to be able to refine things. And I may have kind of skipped over building the refiner first and foremost. We might be able to trade with people though, which is a different story. But have you guys been able to unload? Are we good to go here? Everything unloaded. Uh, no free space in deposit. Build a new deposit. Ooh, a new deposit must be built. So 
managing your resources is very important as you guys can see and yeah we are low on iron to create the deposit so we have kind of gotten ourselves uh into a pickle here this is not a good pickle but it is a pickle that maybe we'll be able to get ourselves out of by using this hyperspace drive i believe it is over here using this terminal and why don't we try and actually jump i believe that yeah that's a merchant over there so we might try and do a couple of hyper jumps here i don't know how much fuel or anything this uses up or if we could just do this to our heart's content but hey there we go okay Hyperdrive is jumped. Let's jump over to the merchant. And he actually has some schemes as well that we might be able to learn. So we'll get a couple hyper jumps in. And we are hyper jumping, by the way, to entirely new grids. So all these areas we're checking out are going to involve entirely new planets, entirely new space, and cosmic spores. Okie dokie. But hello, Mr. Merchant. I'm in dire in need of iron, my friend. And I have, uh, well, what do I have to offer? By the looks of it, a whole ton of nada. Now, unfortunately, we literally have nothing to trade with this man. So you might be like, Star, you've gotten yourself into a pickle that can't be salvaged. Well, no, this is still somehow salvageable, I know. And that is going to be from destructing these things. I know, I know that hurts to hear, but check it out. On the right hand side, you guys can see that these different modules we build are also destructible and we can regain resources by destructing them. So the question is, which ones do we destruct and well i think that's going to come into hand with uh what do we need to create this deposit the deposit is going to let us deposit a good amount of harvested raw materials and then the refinery is going to cost five iron which we need to refine all of our stuff so these two things combined are going to take up 15 iron so we need to recuperate 15 iron from whatever we try and get back and i think that our best bet might be ah Goodbye, Mr. Clone Lab. You will be back at some point. But check it out, man. Just the degree to which you could, like, build all this stuff. And I, I don't know, man. It's awesome. Despite all of my derps and maybe getting a little bit ahead of myself with some of the stuff we built, it still went relatively well. And we are, I think, going to deconstruct the hangar for now. I did want to show off that mission a lot, but I think building the hangar so early may not have been the best idea. Hopefully those dudes decide to get off before that thing got destroyed, by the way. Yeah, there we go. They're over there. Those little dots. Okay, so we're good there. Let's get ourselves a deposit crafted up, which is going to definitely be necessary to actually be able to deposit stuff. And then we will get the refinery to refine the stuff that we deposit. And with it, we've actually kind of started building up some pretty cool things here. And we've kind of reshaped the entire way that our module works. So it's not GG, no re quite yet. Let's make our way back over here to these brand new areas we've constructed on a brand new spaceship. And while we're over here, let's start beaming some things up, shall we? Uh, there's... Is there nothing here? Really? Can I... Is there nothing to scan? We are in the middle of Bumble, boys. There's <laughs> nothing in this sector, but there is this, which should be able to hold, uh, hold some of the stuff that we bring on board from the tractor beam. And here, we will actually be able to refine things. Now, there are no resources on board to refine, so we should try and go back to a sector that actually has stuff, because... By the looks of it, suspiciously enough, there's literally nothing here, which is, I've never seen that before. So let's go back, we'll hyper jump around a little bit more in our derpitude, but hey, you know, out of the frying pan, into the fire, we go. And where do we want to go? And you know what? That's a great question. Why don't we try and go, we're in the middle of like nowhere. I feel like going towards these solar systems is our best bet. You guys can see that there's like some planets over there, for example. And there's actually a pretty big cluster over in those two. So why don't we... Ah, uh, there are a couple of unknown solar systems there. Uh, I kind of want to go explore new space too. So why don't we try and hit up this sector there? What's the worst that could happen? Hopefully these hyper jumps don't use uh, too much energy or anything like that. Which is the one thing I'm kind of worried about them. Oh... We have more cosmic spores. All right, let's just try to continue avoiding those here. I'll jump over this way, and then I think we're gonna try and get into that solar system. Hopefully we stay nice and safe during our travels, and there we go. Let's charge the hyperdrive a little bit more, and onwards into the five planets we go. 
where we should be able to actually collect some stuff which is something i'm definitely looking forward to but you guys can see just there's all these different like clusters of solar systems and stuff that make for a pretty huge map that we could explore that i don't know man it's pretty freaking dope if you ask me all right though let's make our way back over to the tractor beam and start getting some resources back because we made a big boo-boo before no more boo-boos today no 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 hey boo-boo yeah what's up so let's go Let's scan this, see what this debris has for us, and then hopefully start working our way back up towards... I'd, I'd love to get that hangar back. Uh, that is lithium. We are looking for iron, though, first and foremost, because iron is central in a lot of the constructions that we were looking to do. And uh, I just want to get that hangar back, man. That broke my heart when that thing went bye-bye. Hey, and there is the hangar. We are activating the beam. We got these dudes manning it. We could go ahead and actually speed up the process by holding E on this. And we'll just go ahead and continue speeding it up quite a little bit. Now, here's the awesome news about all the resources we get from this tractor beam. They are actually already refined. So all this iron that we're collecting goes right into our iron store. Like, we don't need to further refine it. But we have future-proofed our refining with this deposit and refinery because then when we finally can go ahead and get that hangar back off and popping we will be able to use this deposit and refinery in conjunction to refine all those goods that we bring back on board which is i, I think going to be a pretty big deal you know and we also have the bio tank that's going to be good so honestly at this point i think we're just going to try to save up to craft up the hangar again we'll go back down towards the planet try to get some biomass and then i think even try to show off ah uh, we're going to get some more iron in order to clone and stuff but we will be able to show that off and are we done beaming all the iron from... Oh, I've done a little loop-de-loop. -loop. Are we done beaming this iron, or do we need a little bit more help? I'm happy to assist if you guys need some. All right, I'll press the button so I'll make this iron come on board as quickity, lickity, splickity as possible. And there we go. These resources are done. Let's see what else we have besides a couple of planets with sulfur resources. I wonder... Mm, I'm going to see if we can't maybe beam off a planet. I don't think that we can, because, like, I'm trying to click on it, and it's not working, so... Yeah. Yeah, there's still three more irons, so there's a little bit more to be beamed, actually. Never mind. Let's try to get as much as we can out of these guys. Come on, start the next beam. Oh, mama. It looks so gorgeous. And then here begins the next beam. And, yeah, just being able to manually man things as well. Like, this is usually something you could do at most modules, too. So, for example, if we were creating a clone, like cloning a clone... There's a similar little thing that we could clickety-clackety on with these... Oh, what are those letters? No idea, but a similar thing we could clickety-clackety on that will speed up the process of our clone being created, for example. And with that, I think that might be the last iron that we have gotten, and we're looking all good in that hood, baby. Now, I am thinking of, for the purpose of showing off what it does, uh, destroying this workshop over here. I don't want to destroy it yet, because I do want to show off how it works. If you guys see, we could go to the terminal and we could actually go through all these weapons. There's like, for example, we could remove this from the weapon rack if we want. There are defenses that we could construct if we had sulfur. So we could actually, if we beam that sulfur over from that one... Uh, Ooh, and lithium for energy barriers, too. That creates an energy field that blocks enemies and their projectiles. We can even build Robotnik. These advanced little machines carry farmed raw materials from the hangar to the deposit. And from there to the refinery, the living crew's best friend. And that is exactly how it was working. It got us, it starts in the hangar, the raw resources go to the deposit, and then we refine them in the refinery. So that's kind of that process that I was detailing. There's also energy cells that could be crafted that gives us ammo in exchange for lithium. So as much as I would, mm, oh, hello, that's a dead end. What up, Ida? How you doing here? This is the storage, I believe, right? Correct the moon, though. We got our ship's resources and the nine iron that we're able to store right now. And that's another thing, too, is we build more storage. We're able to store more. But what I'm looking to do now is... Ah, honestly, let's try to get ourselves a little bit of lithium. I mean, we've already seen the turret in action, but why don't we try and get some lithium so we could actually go and... Uh, whatchamacallit, if we get that lithium, I want to actually showcase off that, like, energy shield and try to get that thing crafted up and showcase that. And then I think we're going to deconstruct that thing, uh, whatchamacallit, that little module that we had over here. 
I think we're gonna deconstruct it so we can get that iron back and build the hangar back up because how much is the hangar? Yeah, the hangar's 10 iron and 20 energy. So at least when we deconstructed it, like we didn't really lose any resources, which is kind of the good news. So it's kind of forgiving in that fashion, which I'm definitely a little bit of a fan of because as y'all know, I'm prone to derps such as maybe those, whoo, there's a murder. All right, goodbye to you, Mr. Lifeform. That guy, what is that, a squid? That squid got destroyed ASAP. Go back to Bikini Bottom, Squidward. We don't want you here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. All right, Lithium. Show me what you got. That should be... Oh, hello. How you doing, buddy? Saw him going up to me. And then we got that last little Lithium. That should bring our total up to three. And we should then be able to use that over here. And within the defenses, create an energy barrier. So that's going to be constructing. As you guys saw, there is a little terminal we can do over here to speed up the process. And oh, mama, look at all that progress we made. And it has been built. Access granted. And if I'm not mistaken, there's that energy barrier. You can actually use it by clicking the number four. And oh, oh my God, it's like a bubble shield from Halo. Dude, this is actually kind of dope. But uh, so we could try and put that into action. Probably when an enemy actually attacks us. I'm not just going to waste it. I feel like I've wasted enough things, but what I am going to do is say off Vita Sein to Mr. Workshop. I am so sorry, but you need to be deconstructed, my friend. On the brighter hand, hello to the hangar. Let's try and properly do things now and go back to that planet top, planet surface. Yeah, surface. That's the word I'm looking for. Uh, oh, we want to go back this way. Dude, I love that, like, this literally serves like a map, too. There you guys can see our arrow, where we are, all the different things, how we can interact with them. There's just so much that goes into it, man. And into the refinery, and into the hangar we go. Let's assign ourselves some people. However, everyone is already, I believe, assigned to something. Actually, Alfonso over there is unassigned. Let's go assign Pack from the refinery, I believe it was, over here to the hangar. And Alfonso... Come on over as well, buddy. And then we are going to go to... Uh, let's scan these things. See which planet might be better off for us to go to. And then we will launch our harvester. And, ooh, one site detected. And some sulfur. What about SARS Yar? I'm kind of looking for iron here. A little bit more. One Yari. HCC, HCI. So that is a type of plant, I believe. And uranium. There's actually some pretty cool looking stuff over there. So let's wait for all the crew members to hop on board. Where are you guys? There we got that dot popping on over as we continue monitoring our ship and making sure all works well. And back down to the surface. We're about to go. Blast off! Oh, oh, bugs on Alpha 1. Very cool looking poster there. All right, though, Mr. Loading Screen, I'm prepared for what this planet has. But is the planet prepared for what I have? Okay, just making sure I'm facing the right way. The door opens. Oh, man. This looks a little bit rougher around the edges. Is this the tree that I could collect? They said there was, like, a plant specimen or something. I don't know. This looks a lot rough around the edges. Here's that uranium ore that we were talking about. But this time, with the biotank back on board that we've built up, we should be able to... Oh, they detected a life form. I believe they're going to start engaging at some point. I thought you detected a life form. No? All right, I guess there's no life form. Life- Oh! That's a lot of life forms! I'm- I- Okay, it's a yoke. It's a yoke. Lots of life forms. Mr. Turret, why aren't you attacking? Well, here, we could actually go ahead and collect the biomass this time. Bless up. Until we actually fill up that bio tank in. I want to look for that, uh, plant or whatever. And, oh, man, this is, like, a pretty big area that we could search through. I'm going to let those guys continue the harvesting while I continue the looking for that thing. Oh, is this it? Oh, what is that? Is this the site? What's going on here? It's like a giant sword. 20%? Oh, we're scanning the site? Well, I just want to make sure my friends don't die. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'll be right back. You guys good? You, you kill everything? Yeah, they, all's good in the hood by the looks of it. Oh, maybe not. Ooh! Oh, all good is not in my hood. I think that's the issue. Let's go back to the site now, though. Scan this. Be a little bit productive. Do all that we can. It sounds like there's an encounter going on over there. We're collecting uranium ore, though. 
Gonna get to see what we can do with that. And let's just continue scanning the site. Come on, come on, come on, come on, baby. Come on, baby. Hey! Ooh! We got a flamethrower? Oh, it's mellow. I don't have it yet, but I believe we could craft that at the workstation that we kind of destroyed, so that's a good goal for us, I think. Where are these life forms? I want to collect their biomass, man. I also want to continue looking. Is this the plant? Is that it? No, that's just lithium ore. I'm trying to look for that thing. I've never actually seen one of those on a planet's surface. And I want to see it. Very badly, actually. So then we could expand our, uh, whatchamacall, our greenhouse. But I'm not seeing it right now. I'm just not sure what to look for with this one. Kind of like the site, dude. Whatever the site looked like, that totally surprised me. But we're continuing to collect uranium, so at least we're being productive. The site's still over there. Still booping and beeping. It's not doing anything, though. Okay, our harvester's fully loaded, so at this point... Unless I can find where this dang plant is. I feel like I've scavenged through a lot of this area. I just haven't been able to get any luck here. Hmm. Alright, guys. We may just, uh, be poop out of luck here. I ain't seen it, unfortunately. Well, that's alright. Let's make our way back to the ship. Maybe next- Woo! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe next time. I will collect your guys' biomass. Thank you very kindly, but... Oh, hello. Whoop. Goodbye. You guys want to drop some more biomass? I'm always happy to take some biomass! Jesus, man, they're coming out in full force. They're trying to storm the harvester. Oh, I will not allow that. Oh, there's the clone sample. This creature's DNA improves resistances and lowers intelligence. I don't know if that's the thing. I don't think that's the thing. That thing looks like a plant that we could pick up back on the map. But uh, I'm not trying to overstay my welcome. We'll try and find out what that thing was all about next time. Let's begin the launch and make our way back home. Ooh, shiny. Another clone sample Kraul 1. I'll take that. But uh, as we continue making our way back home, we will begin that harvesting process that I was talking about and continue checking out Genesis Alpha 1. But that, that is actually going to start bringing an end to this episode of Genesis Alpha 1. Thank you guys all time for tuning in. Again, you guys will be able to get the game from the link at the top of the description if you guys so choose. And remember to go ahead and use my supports a creator code StarSnipe over on the Epic Games Store, whether that be for this game that you could use at checkout or the person apps Fortnite if you guys want to use my code over there. It's a great way of supporting me and being awesome like that. And again, a huge thank you to Epic Games and Genesis Alpha 1 for sponsoring this video and supporting the channel that's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for me for now thank you guys a whole ton for watching huh this was an awesome one i'll talk to you next one see ya